This animation graphically demonstrates track features in the accident derailment. In 1990, the BNSF installed concrete cross ties through the accident area. The investigation found 19 cross ties with varying degrees of rail seat abrasion in the immediate area of the derailment. Many of the tie pads in the area had worn out or been displaced since their installation. Let's look at the effects of cross tie abrasion in more detail. When tie pads are no longer effective, the cement surface of the cross tie is repeatedly abraded by the flexing of the rail under load. As the abrasion of the rail seat increases in depth, an angled void is created under the rail base. The worst abrasion measured one and one quarter inches in depth. This allows the rail head to rotate outward and widen the gauge, which is the distance between the rails. It was at this location where the train derailed. In this accident, the rail seat abrasion became excessive and the gauge widened so much that a wheel on the inside of the curve dropped within the gauge of the track, which began the derailment sequence.